Hey everyone, Yoko here, with a video sharing my thoughts and highlights from the latest major LAN that I attended. Though the tournament is primarily known for Super Smash Bros., G5 had a notable Splatoon 2 bracket that I competed in. The event took place in Oakland over the January 19th to 21st weekend, and I played with Team Divinity, which consisted of Hermes, Fate, Science, and myself. Overall, I'm really happy with how we played as a team, and we placed well considering we weren't as practiced as some of the other big names out there. The venue was huge, taking place in a convention center in downtown Oakland, and it was a sea of setups, ranging from Smash to DDR, and of course, Splatoon 2. This was different from Squidstorm, which took place in a smaller gaming cafe, but of course, this was hosting a much larger audience, with Smash filling the majority of the space. Another interesting change between this event and Squidstorm was seeing how the meta shifted. The NZAP and Forge Splattershot Pro were staples of a lot of teams, and the Umbrella was played much less than it was in Squidstorm. As an Octobrush main, it was sad to see that the weapon wasn't played in any of the final matches, but we did see a couple of top teams teching in rollers here and there. Many teams also opted not to use chargers, and went with more aggressive shooter team comps instead. Bubbler, Armor, and Stingray seem to be the most common specials. If you want to learn more about the current competitive scene, check out some of the articles on inktv.media. The game is constantly getting updated, and the meta is changing as these updates roll out. Inktv does a great job of keeping up with the top-level competitive play, so definitely check out the site. Easily. My biggest play of the whole tournament was in one of our matches against STDX. Though we lost the set, we did take one game thanks to this overtime play. And that is going to be a kill, a kill on the fate. This they is really are bad. getting this push Wait back, a minute, but Yoko, 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 Yoko might be the key player here. Able to push them off the tower, you just need to touch it. Yoko, Yoko, touch it. so close! 12 kills. That's, a that's, that's, a, that's, a that's a full one! Oh, that's some. a destroy some! Oh my god! <laughs> Divinity! <laughs> We're talking about Bob Ross. That was Bob Loss, man. That guy came out here with the paint and he killed everyone in his way. Yoko from Divinity single-handedly stopping. Inkjet was also a useful special for me in a couple of pushes. Here it helped clear a path on tower control, racking up some fall-off damage to get kills with Hermes Blaster doing the rest. And here I'm able to get a triple with Inkjet, which let our team push in Clam Blitz. Overall, the event was a lot of fun, and watching the finals live was amazing. I'd love to give a few shoutouts. First to Endgame TV staff for putting on a well-run tournament, and to all the teams who came out and gave us really fun matches. A big thank you to everyone who came by and said hi. I hope to come out to more lands pretty soon in the future. Anyways, for the time being, this is Yoko signing off.